Have you ever wondered what goes bump in the night? Since the beginning of time, they have always been the fluffy ones. But their lives have always been cursed, always full of pain. Ants, you turd, go to bed! It's quite surprising that they would stood the abuse this long. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what really goes bump in the night? With their hearts set on revenge, the teddies gathered beneath the full moon to summon their god. Rise from your ancient slumber, O oh sacred gods. Hear the cries of our tormented fluff. Let your vengeance hail from the sky!
And so the dark powers stirred once more. I'll go first. Lord Moomer's magic formula. Are you sure this is good for the baby? Of course. It's what they said on the TV. this broadcast for an emergency news bulletin. It seems that the dead have risen from their graves and are terrorizing civilians as we speak. We now join Susie Q in the field to bring you live coverage of these strange events. Susie, tell us what you see. Well, Joanne, as you can see, it is pure chaos out here. A wave of civil angry and violence has swept the city. We've received reports of police stations attacked and overrun. Is this the end of the world or a new phase of biological warfare? No one has any answers. They're everywhere! They're everywhere! Officials urge all citizens to remain calm, avoid public places, and trust their governments. This area is set up all Jorge. Uh, Susie? Susie Q? Oh, well, as you can see, these events are quite serious. Scientists have yet to discover the cause for the recent appearance of these mysterious zombie creatures. What could possibly have caused this and why are they so violent? It is possible that we will never know, but one thing is for sure. It is not our fault. Distracted, the Tadians took their revenge. Not a single child was safe. The undead prince searched and searched. did not find. Try my prove, I try no push or scoop it. Prove, I get the best tuck for you, this bio tuck my brew. But for the foot man, I said, bio tuck. I can't get all the best in the country. Lollies, lollies for all my own, my brew. No, I try not to look my book in the house, my brew. Yeah. 
The resurrection of the undead prince sent Lord Moon into a fit of rage. <laughs> What is wrong, you little shit? Go back to sleep! But I'm scared! Uh. Listen, don't be such a bloody queef! Just hold on to your gun! Other less worthy news, more children go missing as deranged citizens claim to have been attacked by their teddy bears. Though it is unlikely that these events are related, experts believe that the revolutionary new product, Biotech, can be used to suppress these ridiculous hallucinations. That's all from me, Joan Jameson with the Channel 13 News. Goodbye. <laughs> This is a special report brought to you by your government. Have you been infected by this strange zombie disease? Are you looking for a cure? Well, we've just got what you need. Try having a shower. If this does not work for you, then try our special government formula milkshake of beetroot and garlic. It's real tasty! Finally, the Dark Lord Moon Moon ventured into the secret palace of the magical princess. Hey! What? Oh. <laughs> oh, Teddy so sad. Don't worry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> The shock of feeling the princess's love melted his spiteful heart. He will never be insane again.
their hearts were united once again. They sealed their love with a kiss. And so the magic curse was undone. So that is the story of how things go bump in the night. The prince and Mumu lived happily ever after. But what will happen to the children of the world? I guess we will have to wait and see.